Hello everyone and welcome to episode 61 of the Made of Things podcast. I am your host, Antonio Maria Correa. Antonio Maria Correa, that is Antonio Maria Correa. I think I would say, I would guess, I would hazard uh, in the American accent of the English language. So welcome to another, welcome uh, to, an, uh, to a new year. It's February, but, um, or February, <laughs> but February. February, uh, it's February, and um, and uh, I'm welcoming you into the new year because it's been quite a while since we've spoken, and uh, this monologue we maintain of uh, you hearing me and me speaking out of my ears uh, just just got really confusing. But yes, um, episode 61, and um, it's a really good one. It's a Dillinger Escape Plan, uh, which is one of my favorite bands they unfortunately uh ended uh last year in 2017 uh, right um right on uh new year's and um and uh, New Year's Eve, I think they played the last show out of three in New York. So, um, and uh, I explained this uh, while while we we speak, though, uh, while I'm speaking to um, to Ben Weinman, which is who is the the, the front man and main the main uh, songwriter for Dillinger Escape Plan, uh, and uh, and was. Uh, the main songwriter and the the whole le the, the leader of the of the, of the band, and um, so basically. Uh, I explained this that uh, uh, I I one of the this is one of the, my bucket list bands really like that I really wanted to uh, to have a, a, a chat with and meet and uh, have on the show really and there are still a few that uh, that um, but um, that I still haven't done but uh, there's a lot that I've already done in my 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 career and uh, and. Um, and I'm very grateful for that. So um, before we move on, there's not much that I need, really need to explain other than uh, beforehand, other than that um, right at the beginning, I speak for like three minutes because uh, I met Ben uh, uh, while we were recording. So uh, just just as we, uh, the, I mean, the first conversations we had were were recording while already were being recorded. I am I am. A Apologize. I uh, I am apologized. <laughs> I can I haven't done these in a while, so I, I apologize uh, if this is uh, convoluted. But uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, I met Ben while we were recording. This is the same conversation that's on uh, the the YouTube channel already on video. If you want to uh, check that out, please uh, also subscribe, please, because uh, we're bordering on two two hundred subscribers. But uh, YouTube now doesn't uh, pay uh, creators uh, unless they have uh, or at least until they have a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time I'm fine with the watch time like with 200 subscribers uh, we already um, we already uh, have like uh, 15,000, uh, 16,000 on average uh, watch, uh, uh, minutes of watch time uh, per month. So we're fine as far as, uh, as watch time. Uh, we're, we're, we, ha we have uh, uh, four times as much as we, as the least we needed to, uh, we need to have. So, uh, so, but subscriber thing, guys, please like the videos, subscribe and share share them if you want uh, so uh, and if you like them if you don't don't but uh, uh, but if you're just being lazy then please do like or if you have any, like any commitment issues just click on the damn subscribe thing uh, we don't post like all the fucking time so uh, uh, we're, yeah so <laughs> there you go so please subscribe and we're thankful if you do so um, yeah but so 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 there's a, like a three minute intro in, intro there's a three minute intro <laughs> 
I, what's wrong with me today? There's a, th- a three minute intro um, on the, the, the Ben Weinman thing because he didn't know who I was. So I was like, this needed some context. So like, I'm a fan and I tried to bring them myself once. Uh, and uh, and uh, I, it's, it was like 15 years in the making uh, speaking to him. So um so yeah, it turned out really well, I think, and uh, and uh, it's more serious than uh, than it's more interviewee because um, they were fin- than usually because usually you know you know we believe that music speaks for itself and art should speak for itself. So there's not a lot of things that you can really talk about. So we try to know the person uh, through uh, ourselves. And uh, and through them speaking of other things, not of themselves. Like, because how can you really, you know, you, you don't necessarily have the truest um, um, notion of yourself. What you have is an opinion on yourself. So, and then again, uh, other people have opinions uh, <laughs> of you. Uh, and so, whatever, uh, both are valid. But uh, we believe that, uh, you know, at least uh, it's more fun for people not to speak of themselves like all the time. Not everyone is that even self, self-aware. Uh, uh, and uh, and or or of their art, so um, so yeah, so we try to know people and try to have f- uh, um, conversations with them in which we have fun, and then um, and or you know hopefully both uh, are fun and creative. We try to get people to be to you know creative in their answers, but um, but uh, yeah, so. Uh, try to answer in I have a bit of a cold that's why I can't really really speak uh, but um, but yeah we've been away for a while um, I'm still dealing with the back hernia and whatever this has been the same as <laughs> the past year oh, uh, so um, but yeah um, we'll get to more uh, uh, on a, we'll, be, we'll be posting another episode right after this one so uh, please enjoy uh, the, our conversation with uh, Ben Weinman if you like like Dillinger Escape Plan, you might like uh, the next guest as well. So please uh, subscribe on the iTunes and the YouTubes, and especially on YouTube. That's our main thing now. Bye, guys. Welcome back. Uh, I didn't really necessarily give a proper introduction. So here is our conversation, which I hope you enjoy, with Ben Weinman, the lovely ben, and very talented and very funny Ben Weinman of Dillinger Escape Plan. Okay, so I should start off, by the way, we're here with Mr. Benjamin Weinman of uh, Dylan Joe's K-Plan, and um, first off, I, uh, I should say that uh, I'm a huge Dylan Joe's K-Plan. Uh, escape, I am a fl- you, you have a huge Dylan Joe's K-Plan? <laughs> yes, I do. I'm, actually, I'm more of a Dylan Joe's K-Plan. Oh, <laughs> so, a Dylan Joe's K-Plan. So, so, uh, delicious bad, treat. <laughs> delicious. delicious. Mm. Mm. We recommend the Dylan Joe's K-Plan, yeah. guys. For sure, but uh, no, Dillinger Escape. It's better uh, than Dillinger Escape spam. <laughs> spam. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, those sorts of where that meat comes from. Yeah. We know, no, we no, no one knows. No, really. Nobody knows. No, yeah. Nobody knows. Uh, Mystery. But, but I, I, I am a huge fan, and uh, um, we are just check that we're recording because I can't even believe that we're doing no, this <laughs> because um, I not to be too fanboy fanboyish because I am a professional, but I've been doing this for for thirteen years, oh, wow. and. Ever since uh, I've started, like uh, 2004, uh, you guys haven't come to Lisbon, so there's no way this could have happened, and um, unless I traveled abroad, I guess. Yeah. I, and I did once. Uh, I apologize to people who are watching this who wants, want to listen to, to no. Ben speaking, but uh, this needs some context. So, <laughs> uh, so I actually even like I, I traveled to Milan. Uh, no, no, uh, who f- shoots uh, on the show? Um, sh- uh, shoots uh, films and takes uh, pho- photographs. I used to live in Milan, and I went there to see her. Yeah. And you guys at the Magnolia. Oh wow! And that was an insane show. I remember, like Greg, 
uh, uh, upside down, like on the scaffold or something. Yeah. And uh, and um, and also in 2008, 2007, 2008, I even uh, remotely, uh, not remotely, actually, I was in talks with your booking guy because I was trying to book you myself. Okay. Something that I've done zero times <laughs> in oh, my wow. life. So uh, so before thing. or since, yes. Yeah, cool. Since. But well, just to bring yeah. you guys, but you guys didn't, uh, the schedule didn't allow okay. uh, any trips yeah. to Portugal. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> we have played here before. And yes, I know. Liked it, yeah. So you opened for System of a Down, I think? Yeah, that was our first time. I was still in school, so I had no, yeah. no way I could have you know, spoken to you guys. Yeah. But, uh, but I don't think uh, anyone knew who we were at that point, around here probably, but... Do you know what? People were went to see, to see surprisingly they did, and... Uh, and um, Surprisingly, because you guys have just started, and yeah. uh, and uh, and uh, System of a Down, I remember people going to System of a Down, like the first band. I don't even remember the name, but like they kind of blew them away. Like so, yeah, the, like the first band made, made System of a Down, which is a good band, um, and, and impossible to play afterwards. Anyway, Maybe. from now on, Ben will speak more. We must be your friends, but <laughs> oh, we're probably a little maybe, maybe, weirder maybe. than a typical uh, <laughs> person around here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Is there anything like you? Mm. It makes sense. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, introductions uh, for uh, one minute. <laughs> I'm excited, guys. I, I apologize. Okay, so um, so how are you, man? How are you, like, uh, coming to Lisbon after all all this time? It's great. Um, you know, it's like we've been doing this for so long. I feel like there's certain places we go to so many times, and um, it's kind of a bittersweet because it may be the probably the last time we'll be in those places. Yeah. And then there's some places we're playing for the first time, so that's really exciting. Mm. Um, like so Iceland oh, recently, yeah. okay. and um, we're going to India in December. Really? In there, wow. So. But, um, and then there's some places where we haven't really been to often, mm. so um, it's still very fresh and the scene has changed and all these things have happened since we have been there, like Portugal, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so this is really exciting. Oh, yeah, and you played at Mal, I think, uh, at a festival with Marilyn Manson, I think, yeah. back in 2002, and I was still not doing this profession. Two, two, two thousand later than that. Mm, not I think System of a Down was 2002. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I don't know anymore, but I know I wasn't doing this, so. You were young. Yes, I was. Yes, you were we young as well, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Me, I, pretty I mean, sure. I started this band, actually, um, and one of our, our biggest fans were the Knights Templar, those guys, who I knew had a lot of big part in the history of Portugal, right? Yes, that's true. Uh, Uber driver was telling me all about it. Today. <laughs> really, Uber driver? That's how old I am. I'm out with those guys. <laughs> You're yeah. not Templar Knight old, are you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I wasn't like in Dillinger yet, but I was starting to get into it. The first seeds of the band were born then. Mm, okay, yeah. sure. The first seeds of our country were born. <laughs> yeah. was, were born as well. Uh, our seeds born. Seeds uh, planted. Let's planted, say. yeah. First seeds, seeds were planted. planted yes. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, so uh, I try not to with interviews. I try to have uh, not to uh, to ask the same stuff everyone asks, but. I try, I do my best. But but this is unavoidable. So you guys are okay. are, are are ending up, uh, are breaking up, and uh, so I've uh, I can understand the end of the cycle thing. Yeah. But what triggered that? Was during the writing of the album, maybe? Uh, yeah. Well, I think it's a slow burn. You know, your mm. life. You're you're trying. You use the band to try to figure out life. And then, if you're lucky enough to be able to maintain being in a band and, mm -hmm. and um, as actively as we have been for uh -huh. 20 years, basically, then you're still you use the band as a way to still try to figure out life as you grow and change. Mm -hmm. And um, I think you just after having the opportunity to express yourself like we do uh -huh. and travel the world and meet so many people, I guess the goal is to just try to figure out what's important and. Um, I, I feel that we've really accomplished like everything we want to accomplish in this band. So um, it would be for the wrong reasons if we kept going. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it wouldn't be pure. I don't think it would be. We wouldn't necessarily be. We could maybe do another one, or maybe another one. I don't know when it would be. But I just I personally brought it up because I wanted to make sure that we kept control of the the beast. You yes. know, what I mean, and, and, yes. and like and end it on our terms. Uh -huh. And um, and I think 20 years is a nice round number, you know? <laughs> true, true. And so. you, 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 but, but, but you don't believe Dillinger has become uh, like 
in, term, in, this, in the same terminology, uh, it, it has become a big beast, but not necessarily a dinosaur, really. <laughs> no, I don't think that. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe no. I'm naive, but I, I, like we feel the top of our game, honestly. Yeah. We feel creatively, you know, we were very uh, inspired during our last record. We were excited. We were into everything we were doing. We weren't like, it wasn't like a, a chore. It wasn't something that we felt we, you know, had to do to make a buck or something. Like uh -huh. we enjoyed every minute and felt um, that what we were doing needed to happen uh -huh. for ourselves, for everything. And um, and the shows we still feel excited about. Okay. So that's what's great. I mean, knowing that every show is getting soon closer and closer to the end, it makes gives it all meaning. Uh -huh. And that's the point. We just I just always wanted this to have meaning from uh -huh. the beginning. That was my thing. You know, uh -huh. it, I, I think that's my role as the original member is yeah. just to make sure it always has meaning or that everybody is into it for the right reasons or some element of that. It changes and everyone's lives change and people change, but to maintain some element of what we started with, I guess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you're, you're kind of like the Bob Fripp of uh, of, of, of Dungeon Escape Land, right? Um, <laughs> the original member, of the guess, guitar player, yeah. and writes most of the things. The old dude, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the old dude. The He's old. very odd. I, I was with him. Not to make this about King Crimson uh -huh. again, but because yeah. most a lot of my show is like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah. let's still. Uh, but um, good so old Bob Fripp. Good old Bob Fripp. <laughs> Uncle Bob. Pep <laughs> uh, Bob Fripp. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so so. But uh, what are you guys gonna do next? Like uh, again. This this is probably something everyone is asking, but um, but um, okay, you must have plans, right? Yeah, I, I think everyone, a lot of people, if they kind of ask or they just assume they know, like, like oh, you're gonna do your projects, you know, like Greg's gonna do his thing, and they, you know, I've started other band, another band or whatever, but. Uh, I don't know what everyone's gonna do, mm. honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, um, because I don't think any of us, like the other guys, you know, the reality is I don't think any of us will ever come together and do something. I mean, this sounds like, at least to us, I don't, I don't think we'll ever do anything as important as we did together, honestly. I don't think I will ever do anything musically as important as I've done with these guys. I don't mm -hmm. think, and I don't think they will either. Mm -hmm. Not that they, we won't do something good mm -hmm. or important, but not as important. I don't think as what we did together as a group and so um, and I've only for for 20 years I've just been an animal about Dillinger <laughs> like yeah. I put everything uh -huh. like nothing in life existed for me everything uh -huh. suffered except for you know this so I think I'm just excited to, to put the same kind of efforts into new things whatever it is and um, uh, for me, I don't know. I may just kind of disappear for forever or something. You know what I mean? I may never play in a band again. Uh -huh. You know, I, I don't have plans to try and replace this with something else. Okay, okay. You know, like I'm not trying to get into some commercial band or uh -huh. make more accessible music or go into some weird or just become a jazz guy or something. Uh -huh. I have no plans of uh -huh. like uh, doing anything like that. I don't. So as of now, I really don't know. But like, uh, I think Greg is gonna do the Black Queen, his other band, and Liam's got some bands. And Billy's playing drums with everyone. He loves playing drums yeah. as much as possible. So. And are, are so so. But is this is this going to be more dedicated to family time, for instance? Well, absolutely. I mean, I mean, not being on the road for months at a time definitely will lend itself to being more um, attentive to family and nurturing those relationships. Uh -huh. So that's that's nice. Yeah. Is that like, like eight months in, in, in a year, out of a year you're dedicated to Dillinger? Maybe. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I just had a baby. Um, so, congratulations on that. Yes. So it, it's funny because it's not like I had a baby and decided that Dillinger should end. Uh -huh. Like, it really is like when you close a door, three more open, that's like I believe in that magic of life like that. <laughs> and and so, no, one's, no, no one's blaming babies. Right. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> you know, you could, you, you could easily say, like, I think that, you know, nobody would say that's a bad reason, exactly. like having a baby and wanting to be there <laughs> yeah, for yeah. it. I mean, if they did, you know. Whatever, but <laughs> some people always will. Some people be like, "Fuck that little, <laughs> fuck that little shit, man." I like this band, man. The fucking little bastard, you know. <laughs> fuck that thing. But um, um Macedon used to have a song uh, like, uh, "Babies, baby doesn't belong in here." Uh, <laughs> 
kick it outside or something. Yeah. The, the, the aqua teen thing. Oh, yeah. right, yeah, yeah. No, totally. <laughs> Kill it with a linoleum knife or something. Yeah. There you go, I mean. <laughs> Not yours. Yours is great. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, so far, so good. I love my baby. Awesome. But, but yeah, no, so, I mean, I, I've had some cool opportunities come, uh, father being one of them, after announcing, oh. you know, that the band's ending, so. Uh, do you think that, um, I, I, um, while listening to the uh, to the record, I was I was thinking, I think Honeysuckle might be the most out there song you've ever done. <laughs> and uh, do, you, do you agree, or what is the, like, the most, in your opinion, like, what's the most out, outlandish song uh, Dillinger has done? Man, it's hard, because you always, like, every album you think there's something, because... Well, you try with most of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I always try to do something that's, like, uh, headache-inducing for us. You know, like, you know, we've never written music that we thought was going to be easy for anybody. You know, it's yeah. always been hard for us, thus even harder for people who didn't sit there and write it for a billion man hours, you know. Uh -huh. So, um, but Honeysuckle's intimidating, for sure. Mm -hmm. When I listen to it, I'm like, I don't want to play that. <laughs> I don't. It's intimidating, for sure. Uh, do, you, do you need a lot of practice to, to go on the road, for instance? Because it's a yeah. lot of notes. Yeah, well, we don't really practice. And I'm not saying that. I'm not advocating for that. Or like, <laughs> um, I mean, I talk to bands or artists. Like, you know, I manage an artist, and I work with other bands sometimes. And they're like, we need, you know, I need like two weeks to get ready for that. We can't just, I'm like, it's one show. Really? Like, you can't just, like, everyone do your homework and show up and play? I don't get it. Oh. No, man. I'm like, wow, okay. So <laughs> you're spending more on rehearsal space than you're making at that show? But whatever. You know, and, like, I, I in one respect, I... Um, I think that's amazing that people put so much. But for us, like for me, um, you know, life is is like inspiration to me. You know, I want to be like so aching to get out there that like it's 100% like pure expression out there. Not like all right, I practice this so much that like I'm literally bored of this. Like I, I, I'm going on stage and I'm like going through some motions of oh, this yeah, thing yeah, I yeah. played yeah, yeah. all week. I've just been sitting playing the song a thousand times. Uh -huh. So uh, for me, it's always been muscle memory and like mm -hmm. uh, like when it's time to step up, you step up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And um, but for some other people, it's about playing. Like Billy plays all the time. Okay. You know, and um, but I've just I, I, I'm like not one of those guitar. Like I I literally just like to play mm -hmm. and write, and mm -hmm. uh, so I'll just walk by the piano or sit on the drums or grab a guitar, and like uh -huh. I, I don't like to be too impo like. Um, well, I've seen you play live, and if you can do it, yeah. then other people can. I mean, I mean I've been if you can do that you know on what? no practice, yeah. you know? Yeah, well, I think what it is is that we've we toured and played for so long, and when, when we're in the studio, we're so meticulous about really playing everything uh -huh. and getting it right and getting it, uh, you know, perfectly imperfect. Like, we don't like it to be sound like a mecha so mechanical or like, right? you know what I mean? Like yeah, every take is slightly different, mm -hmm. but it has to sound right. And in order for it to sound right, sometimes I've got to play something a billion times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we don't like take the shortcuts uh -huh, uh -huh. because... Um, There's no like, backing track with Dillinger live, right? Like yeah, nothing. No. Sometimes we'll have like a horn or something, uh -huh. like on like Milk Lizard, uh -huh. there's this little horn thing that gets trigger, right? it's triggered on yeah, a pad, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But no, we don't, you know, we don't do that it's stuff. It's so important. And, I think bands, yeah. the, bands, bands sounds, uh, it's the sound of death, really, sometimes. Yeah, I mean, like, um, it's hard because with new technology, you want to take advantage of things. And, like, sometimes recording to clicks gives you the ability, gives me the ability to then play with MIDI and do cool oh, sound yeah, yeah, design, yeah. which I love. It's, like, really fun for yeah. me, enjoyable. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, we never... What we do in the studio, for I think this is what you're talking about a little bit, as far as like playing to like specified yes. you know, like meters and things like that. Yes. Like yes. what Billy and I will do is play in my little home studio and just like it's really hot, it's really there's no windows, and it's really loud, and we just play ideas and riffs and ideas, and when we finally get it going, I'll record it at the speed that feels energetic, mm -hmm. and then I'll create a click to the recording. So um, I'll map the playing so that the energy is right. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like he's playing to a click. I'm creating a tempo to his playing. So yeah. it's all random, uh -huh. you know, according to the energy of just where it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm not worried about playing it perfect or he's not worried about playing it perfect or we don't necessarily know what's going to happen next. And that's, that's really important smart. to have that spontaneity wow. of like jamming and like feeling.
feeling the moment. Mm -hmm. And then I can go and play with manipulation and MIDI and stuff to some kind of a tempo that's set. Um, and he can even practice that tempo because sometimes it's not exactly, uh, if he was gonna play it precise, it wouldn't necessarily be that fast or like, okay. you know what I mean? Cause yeah, he'd yeah. have to worry, but now he's gotta go play it precise to the speed he, he was playing it when he didn't care about being precise, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just think there's some emotion in that that helps. So we're not against using technology and like being creative with it, but um, yeah, we try not to like, sound like a machine you know yeah absolutely absolutely okay so um, to answer your question yes. after recording these songs uh -huh. and playing them live so many times it's almost like <laughs> rehearsing isn't good you know uh -huh. if we don't have it by now we're not gonna <laughs> you know <laughs> every, every yeah like getting together a thousand yeah. times and playing a billion times is, yeah. And, and again, yeah. I've, I've seen you guys live and it's all there. There's no, bo uh, I mean, you can't really, I, I don't know. I, can't, I couldn't tell any botching or any, not that I'm worried about that because I don't really care. What's, what matters is the energy, but yeah. still you guys play, I don't know, um, uh, amazingly for what, what the stuff you're doing. Like you're throwing around the guitar like no, no one's business. Like, I mean, it's, I'm, this yeah. is not a question. I'm just Yeah, no, I mean, people say that, talk about that. It's, I'm glad that it ends up coming out. Um, you know, it's very uh, impressive. Really. Acceptable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because like yeah. music is the most important thing. But you guys, you, you guys show, show uh, you guys show is is really impressive. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> but uh, but um, okay. What about the hardest uh, one to execute for you? Like uh, the hardest Dillinger music that's hard. Yeah. Well, honestly, the more monotonous stuff is harder. Like the stuff that's more happens a lot because I'm so used to playing songs where things change so many times okay. that when it gets, um, when it repeats a lot, mm. that's when my mind starts to wander. Oh, so like you'll do so. like really odd chords in Unretrified, for instance. Like you'll be like some somewhere else. Well, like yeah, like if I'm playing something that's monotonous or like... I find it monotonous, but it's or, your word. Or, or yeah. something that repeats itself more uh -huh. than a typical Dillinger song. Uh -huh. That's when my mind can start because I'm going into a robotic thing and my mm -hmm. mind can start wandering and I'm like, wait, did I do that four times, three times? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So those are honestly the times when I kind of <laughs> okay. miss a part more often when something's changing constantly because that enables my mind to be focused, to be uh -huh. in the moment. Uh -huh. And when you start doing kind of like the more simplistic stuff is when you start thinking, did I leave the iron on? You know, like, <laughs> and that's like when I get out of it because I'm starting to, you know. So no playing I, in pop bands for you. Then. Yeah, I'll be the worst. Yeah. I'll be the worst guy playing, you know, in, in a, in a pop, two part, you know, pop band or something. Isn't that like a sort of ADD or something? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Only, okay, there you go. Absolutely. It's, you know, it's, uh -huh. okay, it's, okay. It's, it's meditation for me. Okay. You know? okay, okay. The, the name of this show is called uh, Made of Things. It is Made of Things. The show is called Made of Things. And uh, and uh, it's uh, based on the idea. We ask everyone this because uh, it's the theme, of the theme of the show. This actually is, has been more serious than, than our than usual. All right, we yeah, can get out of that. But it's the, yeah. it's, you know, it's, it's the most, it's, it's whatever, dude. It's, right. uh, we try to, be fun, uh, to have a fun show, really. But, yeah. uh, but uh, it's been more interesting because we need, needed to address all these important things. So, because, yeah. because, you know, because, because, because you guys you are breaking it out. Yes, I'm cutting everything out. <laughs> yeah, every, everything's going. No, I cut nothing. <laughs> so, so, but, uh, but, um, okay. So, but maybe things like what triggered you into going to, uh, into, um, going into music, uh, f as for as long as, uh, as, uh, at, at least until now. Like, uh, did you hear something or watch something or read something that made you go, like, I want to do that? Or something happened in your life? Uh, I, uh, did you have a moment when it clicked and you went, like, oh, I want to do that? I, I think with most people it chooses you, you know, whether you're a photographer or a painter, it's one of those things where you just want to be good at something and you want to belong and sometimes that ends up sticking. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, picking up guitar or, or keyboard or whatever just ended up being what came natural to me. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't going to be a guy playing, you know, sports or whatever. It just what well, didn't interest me. I wasn't like really good at it. And um, music is, yeah, what mm -hmm. kept my attention. Mm -hmm. That's and what wait, made wait, me. What you, what you, but uh, did you have like a specific... As far as like wanting remember? to make a, yeah. like a big band and yeah. all that stuff. I mean, yeah, watching MTV videos that from where, you know, coming up. And I, I actually... Um, 
I, I like I'm old. I'm like a hundred years old. So like I, I was, I was like fucking. You're a Templar knight. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. a Templar <laughs> yeah, knight. Yeah, I am yeah. fucking. And um, you know, I was there. Not only was I, did I have a Jesus um, uh, soccer jacket? You know, he was, he was, yeah. I had oh, his, really? Like, yeah, I was a fan. Like I would like wear his jacket and his uh, his number and everything. Uh-huh. But um, the original hipster soccer player, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and I would root him on and stuff. And uh, I was there. But um, I got inspired as well. <laughs> you did yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. you haven't, you haven't noticed yet. Uh, he, yeah, <laughs> but um, I think he was actually a, we, a, fem- a female. Really? Yeah, people don't want to know that. And non-white. And he was black. Yeah. He's black female. Oh. Uh-huh. Transgender. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And uh, he's for I, everybody. I. I for, think for the people. For I, all the people. I think we have still a lot to learn with that character. You might have to cut that from out that character. In this country. No, but no, um, I'm not cutting anything out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've, t- I've told you before. No. <laughs> um, I think that's obituary, yeah. maybe. Was it? I, it I think so. Like a ghost. Well, it's the ghost of metal. Ghost of metal. <laughs> ghost of metal. Um, man of war just walked by. That was total man of war. <laughs> yeah. That was total man of war. That was total man of war key. It was in man of war key. <laughs> but uh, man of key war. of man of war. That was amazing. Uh, did you, uh, yeah. Are you for or against man of war? I'm like, for it. I'm here for it. That's what I'm saying. Like, but basically, what I'm trying to say is, I was around in the '80s. Uh huh. And um, so, like, what got me into wanting to play music, like any other thing. Like seeing like huge rock bands, you know. Like I'm from New Jersey. I see like Bon Jovi playing in front of thousands of people, just rocking out, wearing tight pants, and like just people going crazy and just, just guitar solos, and like that's what got me into it. You know, uh-huh. I just wanted to, it was amazing. Like I was like rock stars were awesome, you know. Uh-huh. And then and then I would like it, back then before the old internets. Yes. Um, you which, just which existed. I, I something loved, that that happens. Yeah, no, the the folklore around music was amazing. Like mm-hmm. I loved imagining who these people were. You didn't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? You didn't yeah. know what like I think about this all the time. Anthony but, uh, yeah, like exactly. you didn't you just knew what you saw. Yeah, what yeah. you you read one big article in Rolling Stone or something and you saw the videos and that was about it. Like you saw what you thought it was. You didn't know about the problems or if they were real people. They were magical. Exactly. You know exactly. what I mean? They were like magical. Uh-huh. Like and so um For instance, uh, being a fan now I already knew that you were a dude. <laughs> Not, 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 not like this uh, fire, f- flying, fire-breathing <laughs> thing, right. like it's Kiss sucks. or something. Yeah. yeah, I mean, everyone should just think I run around jumping around with a guitar all the time. Exactly. And that's all I do, <laughs> making that weird chords and shit. You know? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, Don't bother me now. I'm trying to figure out this yeah. uh, pattern. Yeah. Right, they should know that I, you know. So um, it was just, the, yeah, the folklore and, like, the... The mythology of music uh-huh. and the stories and the crazy that was exciting you know you're in about Ozzy like biting a bat's head off yeah. or like yeah, that yeah. was ex- that was amazing you know so and Alice Cooper was intimidating and yeah. not anymore <laughs> well now you know you know you're just like you know trying to sell a ticket yeah but like either way it was it was exciting yeah 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 and uh, I, I, I guess I had a point before with Manowar are you going to uh, are you going to before you you call it the quits are you going to get every one on stage, uh, the former, <laughs> the former ma- band members, and all, oh, yeah. everyone play together in yeah, the, in the long goodbye. Did Manowar do that? Uh, yeah. Yes, they did. With several Harleys on stage. How many members were in Manowar? I don't even know. Fifteen. Fifteen. Like, is it like one original member? Uh, I think it was everyone. I'm pretty, yeah, no, but like now is like the, at the end. Was there like one original? member of Man of War? I don't know anymore. They're still going, I think. They're still going, right? I mean, all I know is that anytime somebody... I think Joey's the original I member. I think as long as they stay on testosterone therapy and they can have greased chests and stuff like that, they can stay in the band, you know? You know and then we have they a... start to get fat or like, you know... Oh, they, they aren't. Look like, if they don't look like super, you know, Conan... Like he man, he man freaks. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. can't be the man anymore. But they'll let him come out on a Harley for a second. But you know, you can't have like Man of War. You can't have like soft serve ice cream with leather on and long hair. That doesn't work. And spikes. It's got to be like a like some kind of a he man or something. Yeah, like you know, beefcake. Uh, yeah, or some kind of greasy he man or something. So like, uh, yeah. But those guys, you know, those guys were like from medieval times. You know what I mean? With with a double axe and a, and a babe. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a flight of the bumblebee on a base. You know, they were just unheard of. (laughs) They were magical, mystical, magical 
things, you know. It, it always gets me like riding horses made of steel, metal, knights, yeah. and like this lexicon of seven words. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. You know, there's a, there's a website that, that auto-generates Man of War lyrics. Really? And <laughs> yes, you just I click, and it's completely pa plausible. It's like this it could be. Because it's like horse, yeah. steel, thunder, sky, totally. man. And that's, that's it. it. And, yeah. and it's amazing. The web, the website is amazing. Metal, like, I have like whatever. files and files of saved yeah, yeah. hypothetical I mean, lyrics. They just have to. They probably use it for their new songs. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, this guy who passed away, unfortunately, but maybe you remember he had uh, health issues. But there was uh, also a lyric generator for Wesley Willis. Did you remember? Oh, uh, do I know? Uh, I actually own his bowling ball. Oh, really? Yeah, and it, it, it says it's a giant ball, a C3 ball, has a skull in it. And it says Wesley, and the finger holes are like this big. Like, I can't use it. He was a massive guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I actually own his bowling ball. Well, this went obscure, yeah. and we, we know, course, know, yeah. what know what we're talking about. Yeah. Just one last thing before you go, we go. I think this is relevant information for anyone that's not from Portugal. But in Portugal, because of the Manoir thing, there's uh, there's a ter there's terminology for, there's a term which is olive oil for some sort of um, bad taste, you know, because yeah. olive oil is amazing, but nothing wrong with olive oil. Nothing wrong with olive oil, especially over yeah. here. But delicious. for super delicious, it makes everything better. Olive oil, yeah. not everything. Cheesy. It's, it's the equivalent of cheesy, greasy, exactly. Right. Greasy goodness, kind of. Yeah. That's really cheesy, but you like it. Yeah. Exactly. It. So olive oil. You say it's olive oil. It's like this tone of greasy. Like okay. And sugar. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazingness yeah. and yeah. sun. But so like it's something's like uh, like a guilty pleasure. Like it's like yeah. it's so cheesy. It's I good. I don't believe in guilty pleasures, I but don't either. But, but like yeah, like it's so but, bad. It's good. But it, kinda, no, it's kind like, of it's kind of just cheesy. Yeah. Really. So Man of War is the epitome of azite. Okay, and that translates to like that translates like, to kind of cheesy, like cheesy. A olive, oil. olive oil. Yeah. Olive oil and something just think of metal. Greasy. <laughs> It's a little kind of greasy. important when talking about metal over here. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's why I cool. mentioned it. So now you know. That's a cool thing. I didn't know that. That's interesting. There you go. There you go. It's really cool. Always learning. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Awesome. This was, I cannot say, <laughs> tell you enough how... No. Dude, I've... Uh, I've no, dude. Uh, I've been this meaning... This is my last chance to get to the people of Portugal. <laughs> Uh, I just did something really stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> just look like or something. Uh, it's that actually. This is uh, a little olive this is, oily. This yeah, is, uh, hello YouTube. Hello iTunes. <laughs> this goes out to the world. So cool. people, everyone in the world now, like everyone knows Every about olive oil. <laughs> Every knows. single person. Every single person. cultural uh, realization. <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh, we should do an ID. Yeah. We need to take a picture for the show, and okay. we should do an ID. So, yeah. uh, do you want to do the ID oh, over I'm there? Watch all the episodes. Uh, I just need you to Thank you. Yeah. Please do.